a duck breast to be used on salads or as entrees or wherever you want to use it. Um, so I have four half duck breasts in front of me here and the skin is intact. They look really nice. These are cut out of a five and a half pound duck and I'm going to go through this process with you rather quickly. This is going to be a time elapsed video uh, because we're going to score them, season them. I'm going to take them and put them in a uh, saute pan. We're going to slowly render the skin side of the duck breast. Probably going to take 20 minutes to a half an hour because we want it thin and crispy when we're done so we can eat the skin uh, if we want to. So first order of the day would be to score the duck breast slightly without going all the way down to the skin, uh, the flesh of the duck breast itself. Stay on the skin part of this as you set this up. This just helps render the breast and distribute the heat through it more quickly, okay? So that one scored. Let's get these three scored. These are the little, what you would call the filet mignons of the duck, which means they are the small tenderloins of the duck. And if you can keep those attached to your duck breast over the course of the time that you're rendering this fat, that would be good because then they're included in what you're serving. If they get out of, they start to get a little cooked too much or something, you need to pick them off and eat them while you're doing it. That's what I usually do. They don't have to be served with it. Okay, we've got scored duck breasts. Now we're going to season them with salt just on the breast side. Because the way I'm going to teach you how to do this is you can render the breasts and store them and then quickly grill them and slice them when you're ready to use them. So this isn't necessarily a process where you render it, grill it, eat it. You can stage the preparation of the duck breast by rendering it, then not grilling it, and holding it in the refrigerator rendered. And then when you're ready to complete the, the process and, and make it part of your meal, then you take it out and grill it and slice it. So the reason I'm saying, telling you that as I put the salt on it is because you don't want to salt the meat side of the duck because if you don't eat it right away, the salt has a tendency to dehydrate it. Okay, so we got salt, we have pepper, and that's all that part requires. And now I'm going to take you to the stove and we're going to put it in a saute pan and I'll show you how to adjust the flame and then we'll time elapse the balance of the rendering. Come on. You need to come over here, Richard. Okay, so I have a hot saute pan here and we're going to put it skin side down in the pan. And of course, just like any other cooking process, you want to, there's no fat, no oil, or nothing like that in the pan. So you want to be, be sure that you have the right size pan for the amount of duck breast you're cooking. That, of course, would apply to anything you're cooking in whatever pan, okay? So I'm going to turn this down to low, which is where it's at, and I'm going to come back to you. Like I said, this is a time elapsed thing, and uh, you will see the actual finished thickness of the skin when we are done, so you'll know exactly how much you want to reduce, uh, render it down. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, okay we're, we're over at the stove monitoring the progress of the rendering of the duck breast, okay? And I want to show you where we are. You see, the duck breast still needs more time to render, but you see all the fat that's in the pan here? That's the skin of the duck breast melting. Now you'll notice that the top of the breast is still all, this is extra, extra, extra rare. So the concept here is to completely render it and keep these rare to medium rare. That way when you reheat them and grill them and slice them, you want to serve them pop probably medium rare to medium, which would probably be the most favored way of eating them, okay? So I'll bring you back over here in a little bit when they're closer to being done and um, we'll take, we'll take another look. Okay, the completion of the rendering, slicing, grilling of the duck breast. So this is kind of a skills class, but not kind of a skills 
uh, uh, a lesson rather, excuse me, um, because I'm showing you how to render and grill and slice a duck breast, but I'm not telling you what to do with it. And I'm not showing you a recipe. Well, I will, of course, in other uh, lessons in this, in both in this class and other classes, but it's important to know how to do this this way. Your flexibility of doing what you want with your rendered grilled duck breast, that's on you. So, first let's get the duck breast. It is rendered to my satisfaction here. And you have a crispy skin here, you see? Now, I'm going to take all three of these out of the pan because they're done. And this is how I would store them if I wasn't going to use them now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to season the other side of this duck breast now with a little bit of salt and pepper. And now I'm going to put it on the hot grill behind me with the flesh side down, okay? So we're going to get it up to the temperature that we want, and then I'm going to bring it over here and show you how to slice it. There are two ways of slicing it, of course, and I can, if you come down here, I'll, I will explain that to you. The two ways of slicing a duck breast is this way, like as in this way, which is the way I'm going to show you. Then the other way is slicing it this way. And so it depends on how you want to present your duck breast on the plate of whatever it is you happen to be making. Meanwhile, your duck fat that you have here, you need to put with your duck fat, wherever you keep your duck fat. If you have a place or you don't have a place, but I always do, but because uh, you, you want to use this fat for sauteing or you can add this to your fat um, volume that you use for making your duck confit. Because the duck confit fat, of course, is carried over and used over and over again over the course of a year, year and a half. Okay, so the duck breast... Now I'm going to put a little bit of char on the skin itself. Also, I turned it over on the skin side, but be very careful because the skin side burns very fast. So this is a good little skills lesson, how to, how to score, season, render a duck breast, then grill it and slice it. Just off the top of my head while we're waiting here a second, let me give you a couple of suggestions. First, you can serve this on a plate as a main dish with a variety of different things. Like if you go to the stock and sauce class, for example, you'll see a port wine sauce or a uh, brown red wine or brown white wine sauce. Um, and of course, if you look in the um, sauce lab index in the prerequisite reading, uh, you'll find that... Uh, there's a number of complexities that you can make for this. Obviously, cherries, fruit, apples, berries, and all that kind of stuff goes very well with this. No matter how you serve it, which almost with whatever sauce. Okay? So, all right, the skin's got a little char on it now. That's enough for me. And I think that the entire duck breast is grilled enough for me, too. And I'm going to show you how it looks when it's rare to medium rare. Okay? Which for some people, is the exact preferred temperature, okay? Now, you can let it rest a little bit before you slice it, but you don't necessarily have to. And I'd like to show you that in this particular case, the filet mignon of the duck, which is still attached here, is part of what we're serving, okay? I mentioned something about that when we were uh, seasoning them and scoring them, okay? All right, so slicing the duck breast. I suggest the thinner, the better. I'm using a roast knife because I love this knife for doing this kind of thing. You can use any number of kinds of knives and it will still be okay. As long as you're comfortable and the duck breast gets sliced properly, you're okay. All right, let's go with that. Let's, let's see how this looks. Let's open it up this way so you can see it in the camera. There we go. This is, this came out medium, which is great. I chose to grill the one breast out of all of these that was cooked the most because I would certainly want to keep the ones that are the least cooked in the refrigerator for later. 
So there you have it. Here's a scored, seasoned, rendered, grilled, and sliced duck breast. It's your job to find out where to put it now, okay?